Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Craft and Chat Thursday with Debbie Moore. Hello. How's everybody been? Have you had a good week? I am so warm. It's warm down here. If you're wondering what am I on about, don't forget I've relocated down to Sudbury and I'm not used to all this warm weather all the way from the northeast. I'm really excited to be here because I've got so much to show you. I've got some found. We found some stuff that is back in stock. We've got some uh, requests and we've got the brand new Gardening Gnomes a full collection available. I can see, oh my goodness, there's loads of you already. Um, so let me know how your week's been. Have you had a good week? Oh, first of all, I want to say thank you from Dave and me for all your, I've got hundreds and hundreds of uh, lovely comments with regard to Monday uh, when uh, unfortunately my father-in-law passed and we had the funeral. So I just want to say thank you very, very much. Dave and I were so... Oh, we were just overwhelmed by the support we've had and I do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I love my crafting family. I love this and you know, for anybody that's new, welcome to our crafting life. Uh, it's a bit crazy here and tonight's even crazy because we've got gnomes. Dave is on it with the graphics. Be prepared. Okay, we have loads of things going on. I've even got Bella in today. She is the queen of uh, stamping and also showing you with some top tips. And so get yourself a pencil and also a little notebook because she's going to share with you how easy it is to do masking. I love that effect. I've got stamps on tonight. I have got, oh my goodness, we found some gnome house dies as well. So some people have requested this. They sold out last time. Um, we had them on a few months ago. We found some stock. And I've got an even, a new one that looks like a boot. That's all I'm saying. It's gnome-tastic tonight. It is going to be so much fun. Um, let's have a look to see who's joining us. There's loads of you. Oh, we've got Jennifer, Molly, Iris, Amanda, Shelley, Chris, Lorraine. Uh, I like what you put, Lorraine. Good evening. Yes, good evening. I've got Fiona. I've got Kaya, Margaret. I've got two Margarets uh, saying hope you're well. And she's put hello, Debbie, Dave, and Bella. Uh, so Bella's in the wings, she's waving, she'll be joining very soon. I've got Yvonne uh, saying we're early birds. Yes, I was a bit delayed. I was uh, making sure that everything was ready because yet again, we're going to be finishing on time because tonight Dave and I are having to drive all the way back to Darlington for four and a half hours um, because it's our final weekend in Darlington where we're closing down not only our warehouse and our house and also Dave's dad's house, we're handing the keys back and then we're officially relocated down south. Uh, I have got uh, Amanda, I've got Molly, says, I wonder if these gnomes would, would come and do my garden. Do you know what? They might. Uh, I've got Harry saying, hi, Debbie, Marion, Jennifer, Sylvia, my goodness. Uh, Kerry's loving the cute graphics. Do you like that lovely little kitten? We did have a naming competition. I will be picking up the names and telling everybody who we've actually gone with next week. I've got Kerry, Elizabeth, my goodness, Victoria, Janet, uh, another Mandy, a Teresa. Uh, she says gardening gnomes could be very useful. Definitely. And just wait till you see all the different uh, elements. I've just been told I need to turn up. I'm actually quiet. That's Dave's fault. He, told, he turned me down, everybody. Is that better? I'm going to turn it the right way. Is that down? More? More? I think I'm turning it the wrong way. Oh, no, I'm turning the wrong button. <laughs> I was turning the cable. How's that? Is that better? Dave says it's okay. I've got Sharon says I'll catch you later. Oh, you're about to drive home. Uh, I've got Shelley. I've got Dawn. Um, I've got Liz and Michelle. Looking forward to a fab show. I've got Claire, Beverly. Brian says, good evening, Debbie, Dave and Bella. Great to see you again. Hoping that these names are on the front of the screen. Um, and yes, there is loads of gnomes coming that way. And hello to all you crafters out there, wherever you are. Oh, bless you. That's very true. We are a very international family. I know we have everybody from the UK. We have people from Ireland. We have people also from France. And let me see, Malta, Spain, Germany. I'm just trying to think of everybody. Loads of people in the USA. Don't ask me to name the states. There's loads of you. Uh, I even know we have people from Australia. Uh, and if I miss one, Poland, let me know and I'll mention it. Uh, I have got Philip saying, welcome new people. Yes, so anybody, if you're brand new, don't panic. If you can't actually uh, put your comments on yet, 
We normally have to wait 15 minutes. And yes, there is another character. Look what Dave's done. He's I can actually see the screen that, by the way. I can see what he's put on the screen. He's put two little characters. I've got Barbara. Uh, I've got Belinda. Oh, joy bless you. You've done the like and share. Oh, well, I haven't even told you what the like and share is. So, um, and if anybody's waiting for gifts, they're on the way, by the way. Um, they're getting all sorted. We now have somebody. Zoe's on ball now. So uh, Zoe's uh, getting everything sorted out on track and making sure that all the prizes went out because I accidentally filed the ones from March. I don't know why I keep doing that. So now Zoe's in charge and I have nothing to do with prizes. So the like and share for today, okay, is, believe it or not, Christmas is round the corner. For crafting it is. So in a couple of months, we'll be launching Christmas. I'd like to know what Christmas card you would like to do, okay? The like and share is give me your Christmas theme for this year. And maybe there might be some new collections coming your way. Uh, my goodness, it's gone crazy. I've got, oh, I don't know what's going on. I've got uh, uh, Philip liking the cat. I've got Cheryl. Debbie just joined us from, um, <laughs> from the USA. She's put Gnome's House, please. Lol. Are you asking for the Gnome House already, Debbie? And I haven't even showed it to you. It's a good thing we've got quite a lot of that stock just come in. Um, I've got Tracy saying hi. I've got Betty says hi everybody. We had disasters with radiators spilling water over the spare room. Hopefully new one will be fitted soon. Oh Betty, that sounds like one of my weeks. A few weeks ago actually it might be the month. I think in one day, Dave broke. Well, what we say Dave broke? The lawnmower broke. <laughs> the washing machine broke. Our fridge broke. Our bed broke, and the, and our van broke. That was one of weekend. So I, I know what you're on about. I've got Karen, I've got Anita, I've got Naomi. Uh, yeah, you made it live. Hi, all. I've got Kristen. Oh my goodness, slow down, everybody. I'm trying to read this. I've got Victoria, Anne Marie, I've got Anne Dickinson saying, had some nice weather today in Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Well, I'm glad you've joined us. I've got another Barbara. I have got Donia. I've got Sandra saying, cute animals on screen, Dave. Yes, they are adorable, aren't they? So we have done some a cute cat and also with this collection a cute puppy the kitten and a puppy for this collection because we just thought it'd be a bit fun i have got mia just joined us i have got deborah and deborah i'm sorry you're gonna have to put that spiel again because it's gone crazy i've got margaret says have you and dave get time to relax hopefully after next week sorry after this weekend that'll be it we can actually have a weekend i haven't had a weekend i think in between 10 or 12 weeks uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and my birthday is in a couple of weeks' time. So um, everybody's like, have you thought about your birthday? No, I haven't. I haven't even thought that far ahead. So I just want to get this weekend over, start afresh, new chapter, close the old chapter. Is that right? You close the old chapter? Bella's nodding. It might be right, it might be wrong. But we're liking that. And we're starting a new chapter all together here in Sudbury at the Craft and Chat channel. And I'm so excited to be here. I've got Camilla just joining us from Ireland. She's sunny over there and she loves the graphics. I've got Anne. I have got Julie saying, hi, Debbie and Debbie. I'm actually caught up live after a few weeks of turmoil after losing my mum-in-law. Oh, I'm so sorry. My prayers and thoughts are with you there. Uh, I have got, <laughs> I've got Tina saying that they're cute to Dave and everybody's loving the cute kitten and puppy. I've got Liz joined us from Canada, Canada, Helen from Cyprus. My goodness, there's loads of you on tonight. You're all loving the gnomes, aren't you? All gnome-tastic, that's for sure. I have got uh, Linda saying, hi everybody, hope you're feeling well and have a good week. Lovely evening in Cambridgeshire. I think the weather is slowly getting better. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully I'm not going to jinx it. I don't believe in jinx really. Uh, but somebody did say it might get a little bit cooler next week. You never know. I like surprises. I have got, oh, Elizabeth says she's going to do, uh, going to do, love doing Christmas cards, but you need to tell me what it is uh i have got where are we i've got manderson gnomes and art deco please oh that's nice but well, we do have christmas gnomes but we will be bringing out some other uh we obviously got the main christmas gnome collection called i'll be known for christmas but we will be bringing out some add-ons to that collection later on i've got fiona says she would like christmas animals uh and molly says nativity yes we do nativity molly uh, but we will do do some add-ons this year as well uh, Michelle wants funny cards. I wonder, do you mean humour cards? Hopefully that's what you mean. Uh, I've got, Jennifer says, known Christmas collection, a new one. You want a new one? Okay, I'll see what I can do. I've got Marsha just joined us. She said, uh, for Christmas will be very traditional scenes. Well, Marsha, we have nativity, we really nativity, and we have a Santa Claus as well. Um, 
and <laughs> Molly just put you forgot to put the like and share don't worry we will be picking some a winner out okay um oh and uh, Debbie from the USA has confirmed that she does want the actual um gnome what was it called I've already forgotten what it was called oh there it is the gnome um ha the fairy house I should say well you just wait till you see both of them Debbie you might need to decide which one you want um pop-up christmas penguins cheryl you might have read my mind we do have some new pop-ups come in at christmas because to me i love the fact of having a lovely image on the front of the card but then you have that wow factor inside don't you and for those people that don't know what i'm on about let me find out what i've done with the pop-up it is round here somewhere um it's like is it behind you oh it's over there so stay stay there okay i'm back <laughs> So this is one of the pop-ups we did with our first known collection. How cute is that? You can see that. But then when you open it up, we have used the pop-up die and that's just a very basic one. But we will be doing some special ones this Christmas. Uh, Naomi says, easy and elegant cards for Christmas. Definitely, we'll be definitely doing that. I've got Janet just joined us. There's loads of you on tonight. I have got uh, Barbara saying hi, Debbie and Dave. Denise has got known Christmas, please. What, another one, Nate, Denise? It looks like we're going to have to do more themes for gnomes. But if you think we could do, like we could make the puppy pull the sleigh, couldn't we? Or something like that for Christmas. I'll have to have a think about it. Uh, the Lorraine says the characters on the screen are fab. Can we have them in the new collection? <gasps> well, Lorraine, I have to tell you something. They are in the new collection that we have on tonight. And that's why we're using them. So that character that you've seen, the sleepy little character uh, in the corner there, he's on one of our, well, he's on the new collection. We have it on digital as a USB key or a digital download. Plus we also have a car kit. And then we've got some stamps coming up and all kinds of things. So I've got Violet just joined us. I've got Karen said she wants Robins, yes. Uh, and Oh, Karen, another Karen's put she would love the gnomes doing the nativity. <laughs> wow, that is a handful. I have to think about that one, okay? Uh, I've got Wendy says, I love Christmas cards with stags and woodland animals. These are my favourite cards to make. Well, you know, we've got loads of new pop-ups coming. You're going to have so much fun with that. I've got Anne Bushell just joined us and so is Joy Stevenson uh, and Sandra's loving the hammer. Oh, look. <gasps> Well, thank you, Dave. So he's brought me a cup of tea, but we have a new mug on tonight and he hasn't given me a nap. Should I just share you, share you, share you, share with you? That was a mashup. Did you get that? <laughs> Look at that. So some of you may have seen it before. We have been asked if we could bring it back. So we have our Gnome-tastic, it says, have a Gnome-tastic day. How adorable is that? So that is what we've actually got on one of the items that we have on tonight because I know I've had a few people ask for that. Uh, right, okay, where am I with all these comments? Uh, everybody's loving, I've got so many. What I'm going to see, what happens now is we have a team, which is brilliant, that will download these comments and they'll put together a list and I can actually work through them all. And what this will be my new list. So thank you, everybody. So all these like and shares are worth doing, everybody. Not only do we pick somebody to win a little, uh, some crafting goodies, um, but also all your help and advice goes towards my schedule, really, on what we'd like to design for future. So, and especially if there's more than, if the same themes actually said quite a few times, that goes higher on the list, so that makes sense. And that doesn't mean you have to put the same theme, answer that about four times, only once per person. I've got Janice saying she also would like penguin gnomes on a Christmas card as well. My goodness. Uh, Kate says I'd love religious themed cards including nativity scenes. Well, we actually do that, but we're actually going to be doing some more pop-up nativity as well. So we'll be doing more of the nativity as well. Uh, Anna says, love the graphics, like and share. I love the art deco for adults and animals and gnomes for the younger ones. Yes. I've got Shadia just joined us from Canada saying hi, Debbie, Dave and Bella. Debbie, no ranting today, but still patiently waiting for my orders. Hmm. Shadia, I will get the team to look at that. Um, um, do me a favour, will you private message? I mean, we have dispatched them, and I'm not too sure um, why you haven't got them before. 
by now. I mean, obviously you were in Canada, but I need to, if you could private message, then Jessica will pick it up or Zoe, and we'll look into seeing about the tracking information, see whereabouts that is at the moment. Um, I have got, Teresa says, I only make religious Christmas cards, so perhaps some cute religious ones. Yes, that's a good idea as well. Uh, loads of your loving tradition. Um, Victoria says, I'm still not being able to craft at the moment, but hoping to get an appointment with, how do you pronounce that? New rheumatology? Is that said right? Rheumatology. Rheumatology. It says a G-Y. Uh, so Victoria, hopefully I've said that right. Well, I hope you can as well. But you can get, get inspired and get ideas, can't you? I have got Helen Lucas saying hi. Sorry I'm a bit late, but all settled for a lovely evening with Debbie, Dave and Bella. Thank you. Uh, Andrew would like Christmas ranges. Yes, definitely. And Tina's finding the hammock known very, very funny. So loads of you putting loads of suggestions. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Wendy says, Dave, will you be resting like the gnome in the hammock after the, your busy weekends? Yes, he will be. Oh, where he is. Oh, no, this is what he'll be doing. Have you seen one of the new gnomes, everybody? How cool is that? This gnome is a new gnome and he's actually uh, lawn mowing. Lawn mowing, is that the right word? Lawn mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn. See, I just make words up, everybody. You should know what I'm like by now. Uh, so he'll probably be doing that. Uh, oh my goodness, Belinda, you've already done 40 Christmas cards. That is amazing. Uh, but slow down. You haven't seen my new designs yet. You might be inspired to use some of those, especially when you see these absolutely gorgeous pop-up cards that we're going to be bringing out. I've got Sue saying hi. Uh, I've got Suzanne also just joined us. Uh, Pony says, looks like the character is holding up the computer with his feet. I think that must have been the previous one, uh, but it probably was. It's a bit hilarious. I think earlier uh, when Dave was showing me the characters, he had one of the, I think he had the kitten on one of the actual um, shelves and I actually had to turn around because I thought he was on the shelf. I know, a long day, everybody. Um, oh, Pat says, my granddaughter went to labour today, so you're sitting waiting for a phone call to let me know that for my first great-granddaughter has been born. Oh, congratulations, Pat. Uh, I've got Janice saying, very sunny but really strong wind here in Scotland. Everybody's loving the pop-up cards. Oh my goodness, loads of messages are coming through. I've got Jacqueline says, hi. Uh, loads of you are doing the like and share, so thank you for that. And thank you for liking and sharing. We're going to go through the process for any newbies very, very soon. Uh, I've got Donna, who would like more snowmen. Me too. I do like cute snowmen as well. I've got Judy just joined us. Oh, she says, hi, Debbie and Deb. My hubby and I have both COVID. Stay in the back room and watching you. Oh, Judy, get well soon or anybody else that has been ill or is ill at the moment, okay? But thank you for tuning in and hopefully I can make you smile a little bit. I promise, well, I can't promise not to knock things over or make the actual dye machine jump off the table like I did a couple of weeks ago. But I, hopefully I can make you smile a little bit and take care and God bless. I've got Anne says she was a lovely little art deco Christmas carol scene. I can see it now with lovely and glittery. That's a good idea. I love all these ideas. Keep them coming, everybody. Like and share. Um, I've got Debbie's Wyckoff says mug. I missed the first go round. Debbie, I haven't started yet. Slow down, okay? The mug will be coming up very soon. And then, yes, you can have it on the list. Uh, Elizabeth says, can we have Christmas stamps? I put... I put like the mice collection you did and more wildlife. Yes, that's a good idea. Well, now, as you know, just in case people don't aren't aware, Debbie Moore Designs amalgamated with personal impressions, which uh, I think was the 1st of April we did that. And the other thing to remember, uh, well, let you know, is personal impressions is part of EM Richford groups. So sometimes you may get, or if you're buying a, a place an order and paying by it by, I don't know, PayPal or even by uh, Stripe, which is our card uh, system, it may say Ian Richford Group. Don't panic if that happens because that is uh, personal impressions, which is what Debbie Moore Designs are part of. Um, okay, so I've got, um, <laughs> Kerry says she wants more Christmas couples that aren't Art Deco. Couples that aren't Art Deco. Do you mean Victorian? 
Maybe, I think that's what you have. Uh, but no, I can, oh, a walking couple. I get it. Yes, we'll add it onto the list. And uh, Carolyn's also wanting to order a mug. We will in a minute, don't worry. Anita says, you're completely frozen for about three minutes now. I'm trying to find you. Oops, you've just come back. <laughs> and I've just read that. That's hilarious, Anita. Um, okay, uh, Colin says, it looks like Sleeping Gnomes is holding up your laptop. Yep, how about the frog? Do you like that little character, everybody? So we've got loads of different characters. Oh, and Michelle said she got her Art Deco mug. It's beautiful. <gasps> I'm glad you enjoyed it. It is a limited edition. We've only got a few left with those and the coaster, especially that price. I think those prices are going up, I think, tomorrow, actually. Um, but I'm very glad you enjoyed that. Um, okay, I've got Hillary just joined us. Um, Camilla, the... Tombola prices have been processed now. Um, if you missed what I said earlier, I accidentally filed a couple of the sheets. Well, actually quite a lot of the sheets with everything going on with my crazy life. So they're all being processed. And now because of that, Zoe's on it and she's actually making sure that everything is on top and out as soon as possible. April said, I'm so excited about the garden gnomes. Me too, I can't wait. Uh, right, I'm reading through them all. Everybody's loving the gnomes and all the new ones. Uh, and Jean would like me to design some more vintage scenes for Christmas. Yes, I looks like I'm going to be busy the next couple of months. That's for sure. Um, okay, um, where are we? I've got, uh, oh my goodness, I have got, Shadir says, I would love to see a collection of gnomes doing a circus. Um, I can just visualize that. I can put that on the list, but as you can imagine, there is a big list. Um, the cars wear a change from sewing, 24 tablecloths for a special occasion. What have I missed, Belinda? Oh, oh, I see, Belinda. Okay, well, I think you've done amazing. <laughs> uh, Trini says, have you been trying to ring in to come by two rooms, but I keep getting cut off a couple of rings? Oh, Judy, I'm really sorry about that. Will you please private message? Okay, and we'll get somebody to call you, okay? We'll get some of that sorted out straight away. Um, I will, and also, if you mention that you've had issues calling in, we'll have a look on the telephone system. There shouldn't be, everything should be okay. I've got Kay saying hi from Ireland. I have also got, um, <laughs> Kay's got, instead of an elf on the shelf, we have a kitty on the shelf. Yes, I don't know where he is now. He's been moved. Um, everybody's loving the images. I'm so glad. I've got Alison just joined us and uh, everybody's loving the frog. Uh, Elizabeth says, what about mice and wildlife in a Charles Dickens style? <laughs> oh, I love that idea. I do. Do you know what? My grandfather, bless his soul, when I was, how old was I? I think I was about 11. He gave me, he, used, he had a whole collection of Charles Dickens. And for those people that don't know, I, ha I had to learn to speak English when I was 10 years old. And he gave me this huge uh, collection of Charles Dickens stories and he encouraged me to read them because I had to learn to read and speak English more. And the way to do that is I love reading and I used to read all the time and I still have those and I treasure them. Um, right, okay, where are we? So <laughs> I'm trying to read it as, as much as possible. More Art Deco, don't let your tea go cold. Thank you for the reminder, Shelley. I'm gonna have a mouthful. Okay, everybody. So um, I've got Mags just joined us. Uh, Anne says, the gnomes are getting cuter. They don't seem to make me break out in a sweat anymore. If you wondered what Anne's on about, everybody, Anne used to have a phobia of gnomes. I think we're slowly curing that, Anne, okay? Last year when we launched them, she, didn't, she, she, she said she was listening and closing her eyes at the same time. Now she's slowly watching the gnome programs and hopefully very, very soon, uh, she'll share a card if she hasn't already done that. Oh, Danuka's just joined us from Polo. Hello. Um, okay. And Mary says, I can't find what to the top of the coaster with hot drink stick. What? Do you have the Art Deco coasters now? Received two in my warehouse clearance box. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Bella's just told me that... Um, you wanted to know what to put on top of so the hot so they don't stick. Varnish is what I would put on top. Or oh, several layers of Mod Podge. But the thing is, you need to make sure that it's cured. You know, when we, so normally is it 21 days? I would leave it 21 days. 
I mean, it, there's probably less. I mean, we can check out, check out the website and give you the information. But let it cure before you actually use it to that degree. Marcia says, have a deeper appreciation of frogs since I found out a frog. A frog is an acronym for the fully rely on God. Ah, I did not know that. There you go. Okay, everybody, I am going to explain how tonight's going to work, um, especially if we've got any newbies on the show. If you have any questions or queries, uh, please put them on there. If we have, uh, if anything I haven't read out, please repeat and hopefully I can see it. And uh, as you can see, Bella's reading it at the same time, so we're all multitasking. Uh, so it looks like everybody is loving all the beautiful imagery they have. We've got Alison just joined us uh, and I have just jumped a little bit. Oh, there we are. And Amanda says, yes, Deb, it's around 20 to 30 days. Ah, see, I knew it was about right, 20 something, but there you go. So remember to cure it and then you'll be able to actually put hot drinks on your coaster. If that's if you're making coasters. For those people who are wondering about what uh, an earlier person was saying, they got the mug and the coaster set, which was uh, an Art Deco limited edition that we did. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so... With regard to tonight, it's all about gnomes. So I'm sorry if it's not your theme, but you might pick up some ideas. I will say that we have also some other items that aren't gnomes that you might want to use it. And one of them in particular, we have to thank uh, John in the warehouse because I got so excited. He, he probably thought I was a bit nuts. Most people think I'm a bit nuts because I get so excited about craft. But you know, you all know me what I'm like. I'm not gonna change. But it is our nine in one crafting tool that I do know a lot of people have been asking about and we've managed to find a handful and I will say a handful so that's coming up so be aware of that um I've got oh Nicola's just joined says been in hospital all day so nice to see you now while I'm resting well Nicola I hope and pray that you get well very very soon and I hope I can make you smile a little bit and just relax and enjoy the show I've got Carol says that she's uh, all down here there just done my back in a, oh my goodness in a car boot sale last Sunday uh please go you look after yourself as well just everybody chill and enjoy tonight's show so how the show works this is an interactive demonstration uh show as you can see i'm reading your comments it's like having you in the room with me and i love it okay we've been doing it now for a few years but on our crafting channel well our dedicated channel we only started this on the 31st of march so this is a dedicated facebook live sh uh channel that we have these shows now at the moment we do a thursday show and in about a few weeks time we'll be doing one on a monday and then we're doing little videos of product information and we're going to be doing loads more things dedicated on this show so make sure you like and share this page if you haven't already then you'll get notified i mean i'll still be putting things on debbie more designs and if you like personal impressions we'll also be actually we're putting reminders on there but the best way to get notified and not to miss any shows is to remember to like and share this page. Now, for any newbies out there, it's a very simple system. Now, you do not have to order unless you want to. Enjoy the inspiration and we give you little freebies for everybody to enjoy. Uh, so be aware of that. So how it works. So for, the, for example, the first item that everybody's really excited about is our gnome mug. Now, I have got, if I get my little pink clipboard with the information on everything, this is CCO112. Now, if you wanted this item, all you need to do is put it into your comment basket, or sorry, comment section that you're doing at the moment for your, for your messages. And as you can see on the top camera just here, it is a fabulous mug. And Dave, what's the size of this mug? Because I can never remember. 11 ounce mug it is microwave safe and dishwasher safe so you've got two cute characters that they are really adorable it says have a gnome-tastic day and it's only 5.99 this is cco112 so if you want one of this and i can see debbie's already ordered one you just need to put the comment uh, cco112 in your uh, little comment section that you're doing now and then what will happen is you if you're brand new to using this show or this system after the show and not doing the show and definitely not in the feed private message me your email address and your post address then we can work out whereabouts in the world you are sort out your postage and the postage starts from i think three pound 10 or three pound 80 for the uk depending on the weight 
and then obviously it works out whereabouts in the world you are. And what we try to do is, especially if you've ordered a few items, we put them together and send you an invoice. Now this show is left open until Sunday at midnight because obviously not everybody can watch it live. So on Monday, the show will be processed. Once it's processed, we will then send you an email and it will list on there what you've ordered. Now, of course, if you want to add to it, you want to delete with it, delete with it, that's not even English, delete something off it, just then message, it'll tell you to contact the office either by email or private message and we'll resend you your invoice with the products that you want. Now, this new system enables you to pay by PayPal, credit card, debit card, and backs, and of course you can telephone. And in a couple of weeks, um, some I think it's about mid-June, we'll also be doing the Flexi. So we're getting there, and I thank you for your patience, because as a lot of you know, we have had a lot of hiccups. But like anything, uh, it's a learning curve. Even though at Debbie Moore Designs, you know, it took us, uh, we're celebrating 13 years this year, um, well, at the, in a couple of weeks' time, and we will be having a, a a Facebook Live party, which I'll tell you about that um, later on. Um, but the beauty about this system is it's all about you wonderful crafters out there. You can just enjoy the inspiration, pick up the ideas. You can watch it tonight and think you can sleep on it. And if you decide that you want to add it, I think Dev needs to go and get the water that's behind there because he's disturbing my conversation with you wonderful crafters. Hopefully you don't hear him choking in the corner. So I can see loads of you have ordered the mug on CI112. Thank you, everybody. Um, and where am I got? If I've missed anything, let me know. Sandra says, had this mug, but hubby seems to have adopted it. <laughs> really? Oh, that's hilarious. That's brilliant. So other things to let you know, everybody, there's a telephone number for our Sudbury office, which is 01787 375 241. And you can actually private messages either on at craft and chat TV or at personal impressions. And if you actually uh, messages on Debbie Moore Designs, don't worry, Jill will pick it up. And we have a whole team now on it here to help. Because at the end of the day, we would not be here without you. You guys out there are the heart of our business. So we want to make sure that any issues or queries you may have, please let me know. And that means private message the team so they can sort out your queries straight away. So I think that's where we are with everything. Uh, Liz says, anything worthwhile takes time, Debbie. You've all done amazing. Oh, Liz, that is such a lovely thing to say. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to have a mouthful of this. Uh, so Jacqueline says, hi, I have the Match It Builder Scene download. Are these new designs? So um, it depends which Builder Scene. There's actually two Builder Scene um, downloads, Jacqueline, and I'll be showing it on tonight's show. So we do also have some digital downloads on there, and they'll be. I'll go through as we go through the whole of the show. I'm going to have a drink of this before I start coughing. Okay, Mary said, uh, evening Debbie and friends, sorry I'm late, just come in. Well, we're just about to start. And if any member, if anybody has any questions or queries, please let me know. Uh, okay, everybody, this one here is CCO112. So if you want one of these no mugs, okay, these ones are limited as well, um, because we're only gonna be doing them for, what I would say, well, at the moment, a few weeks until the stock, or until the stock runs out. So it says, have a gnomtastic day, and you have got these adorable cute characters you've got that one on there and you've got that one as well um Naomi says when will the new magazine come please well we had one um come out last month so the next one we're working it on at the moment Naomi so it should be coming out next month uh Dan says hi everybody hi Diane now everybody get ready for the next item and I will say first come first serve or this next item, which is the nine in one craft tool for your dies. Now, when I say John, and I have to say thank you, and apparently he's watching. Hi, John. Thank you, John. Um, and everybody needs to say thank you, because I know the amount of people that have been asking for this. We are gonna get more stock in, but we don't know when, but at the moment we have a handful of this. So this next one is CCO113. It's the nine in one craft tool. So this is what people have been asking to take out the elements for your die. So as you can see, you can, it gives you the instruction to use them with your die. You can actually take all the little bits out and look, it's got all these little tools. So you can emboss, you've got your embossing tool, so you've got those on there and you've also got a piercing tool. 
and as you can see with this seven pound fifty normally 14.99 and I think it might have sold out already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. So it looks like it might have sold out. And Heather, you've ordered two. So you might get two, but you might get one. I will be getting some more stock of this in. But John, thank you very much for watching. As I told you, we have sold out. So the next item that has come in, and this is where I will tell you if it's limited or not, but this one is back in stock. So this one we had, I think three or four, actually maybe even last year, when we had uh, the first launch of the gnomes, it's a CC0114. And this is our fabulous Sweet Dixie Fairy House die set. $7.99 everybody. Look at the size of the die. You get a lot of metal. You get four dies for that. And you can't go wrong. Look at that, the fairy door opens. Okay, how adorable is that? You can actually put your gnomes there, your little characters. <gasps> you can put a kitty in there. It can be for, for a puppy or for one of your the kitten if you're going for that one. And as I said, this sold out last time it had on. Its stock has just been found in the warehouse. And I have to say thank you to Lindsay and Mags because we discovered it today and I was like, I need to put it on today's show. So this is how fabulous it is. And, you know, these have been designed, you know, Sue Dix is a has designed an awful lot of dies and you know that they get quality and you've got all the detail, the embossing in there, all the cutouts. Now all these, I mean, Bella didn't keep them when she made this little board, but you could actually change the colors on there and do different things. I can see there's loads of you ordering this and I'm not surprised. I mean, you can't go wrong for £7.99. If you have a look on there, you have got four dies, a dragonfly, a little butterfly, a little floral one. There's four flowers on there, by the way. So that is, so instead of actually having to die cut that four times, uh, Janice says, yes, you can order CC114. Of course you can. The like and share, Yvonne, is to tell me what Christmas card themes you are doing or what you would like to do for me to design for this year because Christmas is round the corner. I do know Belinda's already done 40 cards, but a lot of you haven't yet. Now, remember, this one here sold out last time and it could be on its way because it's gone crazy for this item. I am not surprised. CC114 for $7.99. You get a lot of metal for the price. And with Sweet Dixie, you know you're going to get quality. I hope you can see the emboss. I mean, look at the hinges. Even the hinges are in there. So you can actually create this lovely dimensional fairy house. Uh, Jeanette says, hi, Debbie from Jeanette and Paula at DM Delights. <gasps> Hello, girls. How are you doing? Now, if anybody um, doesn't know, uh, Jeanette and Paula look after DM Delights. And they're a group of lovely crafting ladies uh, who are looking for people who would like to join to share and make cards. So you can look, at, look for them on Facebook and see if you'd like to come, become part of DM Delights. Uh, may I want snow babies with ador uh, will be adorable at Christmas. I will see what I can do. I'll put it on the list. Right, everybody. So that is CCO114. And it's such a lovely collection to have. I'm going to have a mouthful of tea before it goes cold because the next item is what everybody's been waiting for. Let me just have a mouthful of this. Okay, everybody. This is, they get bigger each time. And I've gone a little bit crazy. So this, everybody, is our USB key. Our USB key is our brand new one, Gardening Gnomes. So earlier this year, we brought out our gardening die set, okay? This is the final um, item from our Gardening Gnomes collection. So Gardening Gnomes, you might have heard of it earlier in the year when we brought out our die set. Now, I will say uh, what we have on here is we have our gorgeous uh, characters, you know, from the puppy right on there. I'm going to show you some card samples in a second. But what's different is there is 2,000 printable elements and more. We stopped at 2,000, everybody. Uh, I will say that on here, this is a USB key. So it's $17.99. So this is the reason why it's normally $19.99. And it's on a show offer of $17.99 because there's 2000 And what I've done is I've given you more things. So I don't know if anybody bought the last magazine. I think I'm trying to remember. I think it's issue 49. Now somewhere on here, let me just find it. I have a theater card. And I have done a video. So this is the one 
This is so off the pot to press, the designs for this collection haven't come in yet. But we have more new things on here. So we've even got theatre cards. So this is not this one. This is not in this collection. This is the old one. Okay. If you've never done a theatre card before, look at it. It goes completely flat in an envelope. And I will be doing the new ones in a couple of weeks' time. This is CC015. You have over 2,000 printable elements. We have new things like on here. We've done something called um, envelope liners on that. So we've got cute sayings and gnomes on there. We've also got design sheets. You've got the normal things that you're used to seeing from um, design sheets. This is a, what we call a design sheet. Look at that. How adorable is he? So he's more in the, more in the lawn there. So you've got, and it, what's all about it says, keep, please keep off the lawn, and he's on the lawn. But then, of course, he's digging the garden as well. So there's loads of different characters on there. Now, if you want it as a digital download, but especially for you international, we do have it on there, and it is CCO128. So the actual USB key is 1799 but if you want it as a digital download, so that means it just downloads directly onto your computer, that is $14.99. Um, okay, so where have I? Uh, Carolyn says, have you got any USB key boxes? Actually, Carolyn, I do. I think we've got three that, that we just found, but we are waiting for more stock. So if you want the actual USB key boxes, Carolyn, just put USB key boxes and we'll allocate it to you. Um, Colleen, um, the magazine came out last month, which was issue 60. The next one is not due out till next month, um, which is 61. And we're working it on at the moment. Okay, where are we? If I missed any messages, please let me know. Okay, so remember, if you want it as a digital, it is CC, oh, what did I say it was? 0128. Um, and then obviously the USB key is CC0115. Um, right, with the whole collection, I'm mean, going to show you, it's not just about USB keys. I do know we have crafters out there that don't do digital yet. So I have a card making kit, everybody. Oh, I didn't show you some samples. I'm getting distracted with everything. Let me just put this to one side while that USB key is on. And let me just do this. Okay, so as you can see, move that to one side. A look at the characters. So these are some fab cards. So this is made, this is a new character. How gorgeous is she? Okay, she's having loads of fun. So you've got her on there. And then lots of you have seen this little character. Okay, and I'm gonna be doing a demonstration with that. Uh, Carolyn, you put USB key boxes, please. Do you want one, two, or three? <laughs> at the moment, you need to let me know what you want. Uh, Colleen, the last one, you've put the last one is 59 with the gnomes. Okay, do me a favor, will you private message after the show? And the team will pick it up and we'll look into it why you didn't get issue 60. And look at that one, how cute it's in with the dog watering. It is such a really fun collection. And somebody put a comment, we put one of the cards on Facebook today, that it would make, it would make a fabulous Father's Day card, definitely. Uh, Camilla says, have to go, we'll have to watch and catch up. No problem, Camilla. Um, Amanda said, finally got here as a new on Facebook. I didn't have a clue. Amanda, welcome. Oh, I'm so sorry that uh, it, you didn't get straight away. But let me just tell you, I think just for Amanda, because I think it's her first time on here, we will show her what she's missed so far. So welcome to our crazy crafting family. One thing I would say is enjoy the inspiration. You don't have to buy, but if you want, all you need to do is put the code that you see in your comment box and private message me your email address and your postal address. The first item that we have still stock left of is our mug, which is CC, as you can see, CC0112. It is only $5.99 and it says, have a gnome-tastic day. For anybody that's just joined us, I'm gonna put that on there. Uh, Pearl says, finally got my comments up. Have a great show. Well, that's really weird, Pearl, because you have been part of Debbie Moore Designs for a very long time. I've got Jacqueline just joined us as well. Okay, then the other item that we have stock off that sold out last time was CC0114. And there you go. It is this fabulous die. Okay, this gnome die. Uh, I can see that Tina says I'm a madhouse. Well, to be fair, that's very true. Jenny says, can you help with invoices or do we need to ring Jenny? Uh, Jenny Jones, this is very confusing. You can ring Jill. 
Uh, Jill can help with you or you can ring Jenny. The part of the team, whichever one you want to go with, that is not an issue at all. Um, Molly, the USB key boxes, we had them on the old Debbie Moore Designs website. We found a few that we're going to put on PEI's website in the next day or so, and we will be getting them in stock. It's just a plastic box, and I'll be, hopefully in a couple of weeks' time when they all come in, I will actually be um, showing you them uh, when they're fully in stock. Hello, says, been on holiday. Can I have Gatsby Gardens USB key? Of course you can. Uh, so, going back to this one, this is the fairy house that sold out last time. It is CC0114, uh, and as you can see, it is gorgeous. Really three-dimensional, really brilliant effect. And then you have then caught up, Amanda, because we were then talking about the USB key. I was just sharing with you some uh, samples of this fabulous brand-new gardening gnomes, and we had some really fun characters, and you can see how adorable they are. And this is CC0115, and it's available on a USB key for $17.99 for over 2,000 printable elements. And it's such a gorgeous collection. Amanda says, hi, everybody. I, I used to watch you on YouTube, but decided to have a join Facebook for lots of stuff. Panda Crafts. Oh, Panda Crafts. Hello. Well, you know the drill. Well, I'm so glad you have joined me. And sorry, I didn't recognize your last name until you said Panda Crafts. Um, so as you can see there, we now caught up. And if you didn't want it as a USB key, we do have it as a digital download, which is CC, where well, we have lost it, 0128. So that's the other one. So then we're now talking about the card making kit. Now this is also showing you, if anybody's gone for the USB key, look at the card making kit, everybody. So this is the Gardening Gnomes card making kit. You're going to get 24 crafting sheets, but you're gonna get more when you get because it comes with a forever code, which means you'll get the digital download. So what I've got on here, if I just move them out to one side, you can see some of the design sheets that you're going to get. These are also on the USB key as well, everybody. So this is CC0116 for anybody who does not um, basically like USB keys, like prefers a card kit. Oh, Amanda says, I have to say, Debbie, there are lots out there doing gnomes, but yours are the best. Oh, bless you, Amanda. That's a lovely thing to say. Uh, it is such a really fun collection, honestly, everybody. And the thing about our gnomes is we they make you smile. I mean, other gnomes make me smile, but these ones make me even smile even more. Um, Mary, I really don't know what you've just written. <laughs> I think you sat on the keyboard or if you've got a cat or a puppy that just walked across your keyboard because that basically says six nine 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 plus plus three. <laughs> Hopefully you'll know what that means, everybody. But look how adorable they are. Now remember if you want the USB key, the USB key was number I've lost it. What number was the USB key? The one before it is number fifteen. So the card making kit. Okay, so this is CC0114 is the USB key, uh, but the card making kit, wait a minute, I've got confused now. The USB key is 115, not 114. And then the card making kit, see we should have two sections, is CC0116. Sorry everybody. Um, okay, I've got Deborah just joined us saying, sorry we'll have to watch on catch up, just popped in to say hi. No problem Deborah. lovely to have you even to say hi. Um, what's the best card to print it on? I mean, we do on our website, on Personal Impression website, we do printable card, and that's a really good grammar. That's what we've actually used on here. Um, but to be honest with you, Elizabeth, try different mediums. It depends on your printer. I mean, we've got card from 100 GSM to 250 GSM, and that's the best thing to do is having to sort that out. Victoria says, having trouble commenting through PC, so now watching from PC and commenting from the phone. Well, Victoria, I can see your comments, that's for sure. Oh, Mary said, sorry, Debbie, I leaned on my keyboard. Well, I thought you might have a kitten walking across or something like that. April said, is there a digital download for the original gardening gnomes? Yes, April, there is. Uh, yes, there is a gardening, um, the original gardening gnomes. I don't really understand what you mean but do you mean the one that I've just showed you? The gardening gnomes that I'm showing you now, okay, this is the first collection. The previous gnomes were celebration gnomes and I'll be known for Christmas, but I've only got one gardening gnomes. Hopefully, April, this will make sense. And that code is CC0128, which is the digital version 
of this. So instead of a USB key, you will get the download and that is CCO128 and Dave's just put it on the screen. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, is there any size stepper cards on the GNOME USB key? Well, you know, Molly, the answer is going to be of course. Okay, and here's one that you are just going to fall in love with. This is one of the downloads that also comes in the card making kit. Look at that. There is the stepper card and that's one. That's all I'm going to show you. And just wait till we get all the samples done and we get them all in from our team. Um, you know they're going to be adorable. Um, okay, and... Um, Okay, so Carol, you're going to have to wait until a couple of weeks' time until I get the USB key storage box because I haven't got it with me. Um, oh, and another Karen says, totally agree, your gnomes are the cutest by far. Oh, bless you. Lucy's just joined us. Barbara wants 116. They are, do they have forever codes or do we need to buy the USB key? Right, Manda, what I would basically say, this has 24 crafting sheets in the card making kit that i'm looking at at the moment everybody so not to be confused with a usb key so this has this the card making kit is cc 0116 we do have a digital version of this if anybody wants that but this card making kit does come with a forever code but you only have 24 physical crafting sheets on here on the usb key you're going to get over 2,000. So, Amanda, I'll be, uh, Amanda, I will be honest with you. You're going to get more on here than you have here. Because for the actual card making kit, it's $14.99 for 24 sheets. But the USB key is $17.99 for over 2,000. You've got matching inserts, envelopes, side scenes, rocker cards. Now, I do have uh, a sample of a rocker card. Look, there's the, the rocker card and there's that part of it. It's actually a stepped rocker card. Uh, and if you wondered what a stepped rocker card looks like, I haven't got one made up with the gnomes, everybody. But I am going to show you one from the Cards for Men. So there you go. So it's a stepped card. There you go. Can you see that? And that is what is also on the USB key. And this is one of the digital downloads that you're going to get with the card making kit. Hopefully that, that makes sense. Um, Elizabeth says, I like the best card that makes the images perfect. I'm printing on Kodak printer. Uh, in that case, what you want is um, and the Kodak printer. I don't know what grammage it prints to, but we do do, this is what we printed on. So as you can see, look at the quality of that. So that's our card that we have on today. I mean, uh, I need to check the price. Out. It's not that much, Elizabeth. So you can always try one and then go from there. Anita says, is the digital download and USB key content the same? Yes, Anita. Okay, so the USB key is $17.99. I'm just going to go through some of these designs so you can see. I don't know where I got to. How far did I get? Did I do that one? Let's just do it again. So these are some of the designs. So you're going to get 24. This is from the card making kit, everybody. So this is CC00116. So she's... And as you can see, it is $14.99. So these are the back and papers. Yours don't have a white edge because this is my sample. So you can see how fabulous these papers are. So if anybody wants this, all you need to do is put it CC. We'll put it up on the system if you don't know the number. It's CC0116. It's the card making kit. And you can see you are going to get 24 crafting sheets with these gorgeous characters but then what i'm going to do is i have given you a few more it comes with a forever code and you have some more sheets that you get download for free and those that you're going to get in there i will show you in a second so you can see that you're going to get a whole assorted on there there we go and i love that character it is so adorable so you are going to be able to do the rocker cards you know, you've got all these elements. You know what I do? I, we fill the sheet. It says, for a friend like no one else. It's so much fun. Uh, and um, as I go through it all, I've got more characters and side scenes for you to download. Okay, everybody. So that is, because we're running out of time, because I've got a couple of demos to do that I want to quickly show you. Uh, and we'll put the USB key on. And then we're going to jump over to the stamps in a second. So, everybody... So this is CC0116, or it could be the USB key. Now, if anybody wants the download, I will say, of the card making kit that I've just showed you, um, it's CC0129. And Dave's going to put that up, hopefully, in a second. 
while I'm going to do my demo. So that is CCO129, there you go. And that's digital download. So you only get the download that I've just shown you with those elements. Now, I've just dropped all my little cut-ups. I'm going to ask Bella to come over here while I'm demonstrating this so she can read any questions you may have. Because you know what I'm like. I try to multitask and sometimes I can, but sometimes I can't. So I am going to now start my demo, everybody. And if you have any questions or queries, please ask Bella. So remember, this is the card making kit download that I've just showed you. Look at the price, $6.99. And if you want it just as a physical card kit, that is CC0116. And that's what we'll put on the screen. And the USB key, remember, is 115. Right, let's get started. So what I've done already, now this is get yourself a little pen or pencil and a ruler, not a ruler. This is a top tip to create a step card. And it's made out of two A4 pieces of card. So if you've actually got some papers handy, go and get one and I'll show you how easy it is. So Bella will hopefully will pick up any messages that I've missed while I'm getting ready. No, there's a few people uh, ordering. Okay, brilliant. So everybody, all I've got, this is my top tip. So, you're going to do a sprint step card, so I've just folded one in half, and then this is what you do. You fold, you create your step, so all you need to do is create your second one, like so, let's put this forward, and then get a bone folder. We do have the bone folders on our website now. So, to create a step, what you, there's no right or wrong way, so all you do is decide you can decide how thick or how wide you want your step. So you can, I'm going to have it about that wide or you can have it thinner. So can you see, all I'm doing is bringing that down like so. So can you see how then I would trim that excess off? And here's one I've done earlier. So as you can see, I've got I've trimmed it off. And then what you do is you get this and put this together. I think I need my glue. Could I, oh, actually, no. I'm going to borrow. I'm going to use these tape pens. Can I just say hello? Because there's a lot of people saying hello, hello, Bella, and I'm, I feel like I'm being really rude by ignoring them. So. <laughs> you say hello. hello. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You on screen yeah, now? Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to the and, uh, and Bella's so excited about showing you how to mask. So make sure you get your pen and paper. So she's going to share with you some top tips. So this is to obviously how you stick this together. You take this card and fix that onto there. Now you can use adhesive, you can use tacky glue, or you can use tape pens. Um, I'm actually going to use a tacky glue. Now remember this glue, we had it on before, £2.78 everybody. It's ridiculous. It is fibreless glue. It's really good. Now the other thing to remember, keep the top on when you use it and only pierce it. Don't cut the lid off or cut the top off. You pierce it and then you get a small hole with regard to this. And then all I'm doing is lining it up on like so. Make sure it is straight, that's the main thing. Goes completely flat in the envelope and there is your step card. So you can do it that way or you can rotate it and have a shape card that way, but we're gonna do it this way. So I'm now going to get my paper ready. And I have got that cheeky fella everybody that you've all fallen in love with. Oh, Wendy Cufflin says, Debbie, have you got any of your pink craft mugs as I dropped mine and broke it? Craft which ones? Uh, she just says pink craft mug, so I don't know which one that Do is. Do you mean the one I'm drinking? Is it Wendy? It's Wendy, yes. Wendy Cufflin. Wendy, is that the one that you're after? The one I use? Being creative is not a hobby, it's a way of life. The answer is no, but we will for you. So just put pink mug... It'll be the same price as the as the actual no mug, five ninety nine, and we'll get one cent for you, Wendy. Perfect, thank you. Oops. Right, okay. So what I've done now, everybody, I am going to share with you top tip on how to get everything ready. So I've used craft card, and we do have craft card uh, available. Uh, but my top tip is go have a look. I always look on this. So because of the brown, I wanted to bring some brown in. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to Use a pen, there we go. You can use a pencil, I don't know what I've done with my pencil. And turn it round and simply mark it. Wendy says yes, that was the mug. Okay, no problem. Wendy just put mug P 
pink, please, and we'll put it on your invoice for you. There we go. So I put that as a base. And then I love this paper. So these are papers, everybody, from the USB key and also the card kit. And I just want to break this up a little bit. So literally, I am just going to cut about, I'd never measure, about that much. Okay, probably about a third of the card. And it just gives a little bit of definition. And this has a vintage feel to it as well. So this is going to go on here, like so. And you can see how the cards come in together very easily. I've got my little character on there. And then I've got on here, what I want to do is, I'm using that again, but I'm doing it the other way. I'm actually, obviously, not upside down. That makes sure I have the water and cans the right way. Just mark it like so. And then what I'm doing is just using my paper trimmer. And we also have these in stock. They've come back in stock, everybody, because I know people have been asking for the blades and also our paper trimmer. So that's going to sit just lovely in there. And then the ribbon strip. So everything is on your design sheet, everybody. So as you can see, I am using um, the elements from one, des actually a couple of design sheets I've had on here. So, oh, there's put the code up, everybody. If anybody wants Aileen's Tacky Glue, £2.78. Isn't that ridiculous, everybody? So the beauty about it is, um, not only is it a brilliant price, it's very flexible. Now, the one thing I would say when you're using glue is the amount of glue that you put on. So this is printed on cards. So this is okay. And because, I don't know if you can see how fine that is. Somebody tell me, can you see how fine that is? They're saying yes. And then with this, what you need to remember is you need to make sure that you don't overdo it. If you were printing on paper, I don't know if anybody's ever got like a blob or like a watermark on your paper when the glue comes through. It's because you put too much glue on. So make sure you, you could even use a spatula and spread it that way. Or my top tip for everybody is, if you're going for Aliens Tacky Glue, pierce the hole and then the glue will come out small. If you chop it, what will happen is it'll come out really thickly and you don't want that. Jenny Jones says, I won't use my Debbie Moore mugs just in case they break. They're what? I know, they're on display in my craft room, she says. Jenny, <laughs> use them. Okay, that's what they're there for. My grandfather, bless his soul, he used to say to me, Debbie, what's the point of having something if you're not going to use it? It's like when you used to have, um, is it good, you'd have your best um, plateware. Yes. Okay. Or your best book. China. Oops, I put that upside down. Yep, look. You do it with your best clothes as well sometimes, don't you? Where you put it away and think, well, I'll keep that for best. And then you never wear it. <laughs> then you forget about it. So, yes. But, no, with the um, with this... Whoops, something just fallen over over there. At least it didn't knock off anything this time. Okay. So, all I'm, what I was saying... Oh, going back, Jenny, use your mug, please. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> it. Right, so I'm just putting this on here. So I'm breaking it all up so you can see everything's coming together. And then I've got this on here. So this is my lovely character. And then we have cut out somewhere some sentiments. They're all hiding. I dropped them off earlier. You can bring in some other colours if you want to, what's in the kit. So we have got this one that says, um, life, is, life is a garden, dig in. I love that one. Okay, so that's going to go on here. And then what I've got is for a friend like no one else. I did have another happy birthday, didn't I? And that's yes. going to go on there. So what I need to do is find my phone pads. They've fallen off somewhere. Bella cut out a happy birthday, everybody. And it's like my phone pads. They've all disappeared. It's, gone. it's one of those things. It doesn't matter how organised you are. We always move them. <laughs> so I'm going to use... A couple of large foam pads. Tracy Dean says, I've got a card to make for my granddaughter. She'll be 13 next week. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. And Victoria Aquilina says, I have a pink mug. I call it my Thursday mug. Oh, that's <laughs> brilliant. I love that, everybody. That is so much fun. Right, make sure he is definitely the right way up. And then what I'm going to do is have a little bit of glue in the centre. Have that on there. And then you can see everything's coming together. I'm going to have that in there. I would have my foam pads, but I don't know what I've done with the foam pads. 
Do you know what? I'll clear up. Everything's going everywhere. Everything is going everywhere. It's because I'm trying to get this all done very quickly. Yeah. And then I want that. Oh, I want that one there. Let's put that there. I'm going to have a look one more. If you look through that pile again, if not, I am going to quickly just put a little bit of glue on there. Not to worry, it'll turn up. There we go, everybody. So, just a very quick card, and hopefully Dave will turn it round so you guys can see it this way. So there we go. There you go, everybody. A very easy card. Now remember, it's made up of two by four pieces of card, and the step... You can do any width, but remember, if you're actually going to do quite high, make sure this is higher. But how adorable is that? And it goes completely flat in the envelope. And don't forget, if you're going for the USB key, which is only $17.99, you also have matching cards and envelopes and inserts on there and so much more. And you know me, 3D, it is jam-packed with over 2,000 printable elements. You've got matching envelopes, even new liner envelopes. So that's what we've done on there, just to have a little bit of fun. A lot of people saying lovely card. Amanda Clark says fab card, Debbie. Elizabeth Dixon says love that style of card. Amanda Clark says I've got card kits I don't want to use as they're too lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda, you're going to have to. So yes. we're moving on because time is pressing on. I need to get that uh, clock moved because I keep missing the time. It's over there, the clock. So I am going to show you this next item. Now, the next item, everybody, is the stamps. I do know people are excited about them. So we have the gardening set. Now, we have it as a kit, everybody, but also we have it as an individual bundle, okay? And then Bella's gonna go over to her area and she's gonna get ready for a demonstration. Demonstration, even. Oh, um, I did that a bit loud, apparently. Uh, <laughs> right, so as you can see, this is the next section on here. So okay. if we, uh, I'm gonna have a look at this. So this is, if you want the full set, now, what we've got in here is our gardening gnomes. Now, this has the stamp, it has the die set, and it also has uh, the paper pad card making kit with a forever code, which means not only can you create these type of cards, look at this, everybody, with your dies. So this is the dies and the pads, okay, and the card making kits. These have all been die cut out. You can see the different ones. You got them individually. So we're gonna do them individually as well. So we have them as a, a, a full set because they are the dies that we have. So you can see that you are going to get 18 dies in total. You are going to get the stamps that match and you're going to get the card making kit with a forever code so you can die cut it out. However, I do know a lot of you out there are just wanting the stamps or just want the dies and the stamps. So we're going to put them on individually. So you've got that option as well. But the best buy is these three together. I mean, look what Bella's gonna be showing you what you can do. So she has used the set on there. She's made this using the gardening collection and even the celebrations, which I'm coming up next to show you. So she's even actually used the stamps and colored them in as well. So you can do this montage and it really is a gorgeous DIY gift to give to somebody or even for yourself to be honest so this is cc0117 however if you want them individually their numbers are for the individual numbers if you want the die set it is i'll move that out the way if you just want the die set everybody so the die set is cc0118 and you are going to get 18 dies and you are going to get them there. Actually, you can see them all in there, all the beautiful designs that you're going to get that. They come with a forever code as well, $14.99. So you will actually get this paper pad as a download. So you won't get it physically, but for $14.99, you'll get the die set and you'll get a forever code that will enable you to download that paper pad which means you can create these gorgeous cards and so much more however is it a build the scene sanders put i've just noticed the answer is yes you build the scene so just to show you so this is a magnetic sheet so you can use them for storage or you can put it through your die cut machine and if anybody needs the magnetic sheets they are only the code is cco 029 and I can't remember the price I think it's only £1.19 this is an A5 magnetic sheet which is great for storage oh there it is £1.43 I was nearly right look everybody you can line it up you match it and this is the dies from the set 
and lay them out and how cool is that and so yes Sandra it is a build a scene so you can create your own scenes there's a character he's got the water and can so all these elements are die cut and then of course I've given you these elements here that you can actually fussy cut out or if you've got my nesting dies you can use that that's for sure they are such a gorgeous collection everybody uh, and then okay if you just want by the way your new stamps which is brand new brand new today everybody it is cc 0 two no yeah one two o it's our gardening gnome stamp set nine pound 98 everybody so this is how it'll come okay and then you can actually simply stamp and let me get a sample of one where is it let's just use him so you can see there he is he's been stamped and die cut as well so if you just want the stamp set it's cc0120 um, but the best saving if you want the whole set like we just showed you earlier because you're going to get all three sets or three items the best saving if you want all three is that first item that we had which it is the cc0117 so then you have got that saving so you've got a, a 10 pound saving which is brilliant everybody so that is that one so remember you can get them individually so this is the gardening collection like i showed you those beautiful samples that's the gardening collection now these stamps everybody if i move that away the next item that we have the next stamps what will the die set match the usb key gnomes so basically uh, who's us yvonne so yvonne you've asked that so these are the gardening gnomes so let me explain the gardening gnomes do have sheets like this well, i've lost the sheet what have i done with it there it is on the usb key so as you can see i've just showed you that that character will match that character however Yvonne and everybody else there if I find the character sheet like in the card making kit so just to show you so what we've actually done if it's a character like this so obviously if it's a character like this that we've had it this size we've tried to make sure they match as you can see they match however I do know we have somewhere in here a larger character where's the card there we go trying to find the card see I'm trying to answer everybody's question everybody just bear with me she is the, so if for example you wanted this one here this does not match that's what I'm trying to say so we've made some toppers but if you've got this nesting die that will match it so Yvonne hopefully I haven't confused you some of the characters that are on this collection are in the card kit and the USB kit and they will match okay so I'm going to move on to the different one so that one everybody is CC that we just done is 0117 but with regard to the stamps the stamps come like so now you can use them like we've got them on here you can use them like with this however what we've got on is some fabulous stamp foam now the stamp foam is an A4 sheet like so and the idea behind it is if you want it to cling onto your acrylic blocks or if you have a stamp station whichever way you use it the stamp foam is £3.98 and it's CC0121 and for £3.99 I mean Bella will explain it in a second because it's so easy to do so for 390 sorry 398 you're going to get a whole sheet that you can actually create three and if I then show you you would then take the top off like so stick that on and here's one we've already stuck and then what you would do so this is the basket you would then cut it out Bella could you just pass me one that you've actually put on the block second so you literally cut round it and there is my basket so as you can see here because it's got that cushion on it's not sticky but when you put it on the acrylic block it sticks you really can't take it off unless you lift it up 
Okay, so Bella will be explaining that in a second. I just want to show you the celebration gnomes. Same principle, everybody. We've got them. Oh, I've just noticed there's a celebration gnome. We have got the three sets again. We've got them as a main bundle and we have them individual. So just to show you them as a main bundle. So we have got them as CCO122, a celebration gnomes. It's only 14.597 for all three. It is only if I do this. So we have got this on here. Let me just put that to one side. Sorry about the noise, everybody. You can actually see that you have got the paper pad with 32 crafting sheets, the stamp sheet, there you go, and this one's got all these beautiful sayings, and the stamp set with 17, oh, yep, 17 different stamps on there for you to enjoy. So if anybody wants that, so this is CCO122, and you've also got them individually, everybody. Um, the code Anita for the gardening gnomes die set, if you want that code again, it is, um, the code, where are we? It is CC0118. But if anybody wants the celebration die set, it is CC0123. So you can get them. CC0123 for the celebration gnomes. There you go. So you'll be able to see that you can actually get yet again. You'll get all the dies. Um, and it's $14.99 that we have it on promotion. And it comes with a forever code. If you want the paper pad on its own, it's CC0124. And that one yet again, look at that price. So it comes with a forever code. You're going to get 32 crafting sheets for you to enjoy. And the scenes behind there. And that one, if you have a look at that one, that is CC0124. And that is £12.98. And then the other item, which is brand new, is our stamps, everybody. They are adorable, and that's enough for me, because we're going to go over in a second to Bella, and she's going to show you how easy it is to create these. So this is CC0125. Now, while Bella's demonstrating, if I've missed anything, um, please let me know. I can see that Amanda has put, I highly recommend Celebration Gnomes. It's a fab collection. Michelle says, we'll have to watch later, because it keeps freezing. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you can have a catch up and see how it goes. So this is CC0125, and if anybody wants it, order it, it comes with a single sheet. And we're going to hand it over to Bella now. Hi there. Okay, so I wanted to show you with these stamps. Now, as Debbie said, this is using the stamp foam, and it makes it much easier to use. You're using it with block. And this one, I haven't used it with stamp foam, and I've stuck it with double-sided tape. And I have to say that yes, you can use it with double-sided tape, and yes, it will work really well, um, but it's an awful pain trying to get the double-sided tape to come off the block when you're finished using it. So I definitely go for the stamping foam. So you can use the stamps, and you can either stamp them singly. So I've got this stamp here is stamped with the, um, with the block there, and then the other stamp is stamped like this. But I'm going to show you a masking, a masking technique so that you can use two different stamps together without over stamping the edges. So, thank you. I'm just going to put this down here. So, first of all, I want to show you the stamping technique and the colouring in, and then actually be stamping the images and putting them on a, um, what do you call it? My mind's gone blank. But a montage, that's what we need to say, on a montage. I did look up the difference between a collage and a montage. And what is it? Well, the difference between a collage and a montage is that a collage is use, done using found materials and can be any material, whereas a montage is created using elements that are individual images in their own right. I did not know that. There you go. So it's a montage, everybody, that we're creating. Yes. So I'm using a, a stamping mat, and that's because I want to get a really good impression with the stamp. So I'm just going to stamp him on here. So while Bella's stamping it, Anita says, to anybody who has freezing problems, I have almost thrown my iPad and iPhone out of the window because of the freezing, but I'm on my PC now and have had no freezing problems at all. The only problem I've had is actually finding the show, but I got it in in the end. Well, Anita, I'm so glad to hear it's not our end, and I'm glad you're still with us. 
That's brilliant. I'm going to show you a quick technique with masking. Now, you can just stamp onto another piece of card and then pop it over the top of your initial stamped image so that you don't get an overlap. But something you can use, which is really simple and really easy, is a piece of post-it note. Now, this is really good because it's sticky down one side, but it's not actually permanent sticky. So again, if I then stamp up and stamp onto the post-it note, that will then mean I can pop it over the top of my stamped image and preserve that image when I then stamp over with another stamp. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm talking about lots of stamps, I know. <laughs> so talking of different stamps, we'll put the correct stamp code that Bella is using because she's using the stamping set CC0120, which is the Gardening Gnome stamp set. Now remember, it comes as a main bundle or if you want it on its own, this is what we're doing. And the ink that Bella's using is the Versafine Claire. Versafine Claire, yes. Yes. Okay, and we do stock that as well in different sizes. And it's a pigment ink, which means that when you stamp with it, you can use your uh, wet medium, not um, too wet, obviously, but you can use watercolour uh, paints, pencils, your pens without it bleeding. So that's the pigment ink. So I'm just going to stamp, and the sticky edge is along this edge. So I want to stamp and get as much of the sticky as I possibly can. So I'm going to stamp him onto the post-it. Now, while you've done that, Amanda said, I've seen somebody somewhere put blue stick on the back of the grey rubber stamp to stick on the acrylic blocks. Yes, Amanda, yes. So some people have used Pritt stick, or they've used double-sided tape, but the foam and the Klingon personally works, uh, the, the stamp foam works the same uh, or I should say better because it clings onto the actual block but also it's great for storing as well yes and it comes off the block easily that's yes. the other thing so why you just uh one thing i want to explain april said can you tell us about your angel policy basically april as long as you make something and i will say you have to make it, it has to be a card a project or anything like that you cannot cut out the actual gnomes and sell the gnomes on eBay. We've had a couple of people do that, and that is wrong. It's against our policy. But other than that, you can make as money for charity or for yourself and enjoy your creations with whatever you're doing. So you can see I've stamped onto the poster, and just to save time, I stamped onto a poster earlier and cut him out so that he's ready to go. And then I'm going to put the stamp, put the poster over here, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute because I will just carefully position him there. Okay, I'll we'll just need to move him a little bit. Okay, so now when I stamp with the other gnome, and I put him on the block, her, I think she's a her with plaits, I'm not yes. sure. <laughs> My son wants to grow his hair long, so he could wear his in plaits. Yes, he could. <laughs> uh, Pauline says, another day of learning. Thank you, Bella. <laughs> Every day is a learning day. Exactly. Every day is a school day. <laughs> yes. It's great learning new techniques. And this is a great way to do it. Anybody can do this, everybody. And you can do this with so many different stamps. You can do it with your flowers. You can do it with um, birds, leaves, all anything. sorts of things. Anything. So now I'm just going to very carefully position this stamp. And I'm going to pop it over the top. Just there. Um, April's asking what is the number of the kit for the entire celebration gnome stamp so this is a different one than what Bella's doing so for the entire kit of the celebration set it's CC0122 Dave's just put it up on the screen and voila look what Bella's done how I cool have. is that unfortunately I've got a little smudge in the middle but um, that might be because I was pushing down so hard on the stamp mat but I have got one that I stamped earlier because I wanted to show you how to do the colouring technique with colouring pencils and obviously you can colour with um, your alcohol markers, with your pens, any kind of medium can, you can colour in with but I wanted to show you how to very quickly build up the layers with colouring pencil and it is, I'm going to work really fast, I know it looks a bit silly but the other thing is you can colour over the edge because you're going to cut this out well I'm going to cut this out and you'll be able to see that you can yes. work much quicker if you're not 
colouring to the edges. So Bella, I just need you to bring your the pink forward because you're putting your head in front of the camera. So I'm if so you sorry. bring the map forward so then you don't need to lean this so way. forward. Yeah, yep. there no. you go. I'm sorry. Okay. There you go. So you can see how easy it is and don't worry, like Bella says about going over the lines, okay, because you can just cut it out. Now remember you will could also die cut them and put them over the layers because with regard to your lovely gnomes, you've got the die set if you're going for the die set. So if you got want the full set of the um, gardening gnomes, that one is CC0117, everybody. Yeah, so that's the thing when you stamp the characters together, obviously you won't be able to die cut them, you'll need to cut them by hand. Um, but that just means that you can build up your group, you can stamp several gnomes together, um, and you can do all sorts of interesting things. But as you say, you can also cut out the elements and just stick them over the top. But that has a um, limit in terms of your thickness of paper or card that you're using. So, so it just sorry depends on what you want. Yeah, so what I was just going to say, Margaret McIntyre says, I have learned a lot from you in the past two years. Oh, that's brilliant, and you keep on learning. That's great that we can keep on sharing ideas. Uh, Linda wants to know if the Match It Garden Gnomes paper pad is on available on its own. The answer is yes. Dave will put the code up, and the code is CC0119, and that is 1298 for it's on its own. So I wanted to show you doing the flesh tone on here. I've got a, a really nice uh, peach colour, but with the nose, I'm not going to colour the whole of the nose. I just want to start off with a round um, shade, and I'm just going to build that up. And then I'm going to go underneath the hat to make that a little bit darker. And then again, I'm going to go under the bottom of his nose to make that a bit darker and try and get some shape. To the face and you can see already that's building up but then i've got a slightly darker color which is a ochre and i'm just going to put in a little bit more detail and with coloring pencils the trick is just to build up layers because then you get much more interesting colors so just around there and a little bit of shading under the nose so just to let you know, um, Karen's asked, love the little stamp mat that Bella's using, do you sell these? These are something that's coming in in the future, Karen. So as soon as we have it in stock, we will let you know. So in order to try and get some shaping, I'm using more of this red and I'm just building up layers. An interesting thing with doing the shading on colours is that if you use the complementary colour, so the colour opposite on the colour wheel, you can use it to put shading in. So with a red, the opposite color would be green. So interestingly enough, you might be surprised to know that if I put green over this red, I will get a darker red. Now, if you're thinking, I don't know how I'm gonna remember all this, okay, we Bella will be doing a more in-depth video on using the color wheel option and we'll be putting it on our blog as well as on craft and chat and so yes you know not everybody knows the color wheel uh, and it's something that we want to share more on how to do share these top tips really so i'm just trying to build up layers and i'm just trying to show you how to put different colors on and just make it more shaped you want to try and make it more three-dimensional so I've got one couple that I coloured earlier because I want to save time and I want to move on to working on the montage. So these, this is the couple that I coloured and I've used different colours. This is all done with colouring pencil and I have coloured darker uh, uh, underneath. So where things are layered, you've got the moustache coming over the beard here. So I've gone darker underneath just to try and give some dimension. And having done that and coloured in those elements, I've got the other elements that I've cut out. And I'm just going to quickly show you a very simple technique for building a montage. While Bella's doing that, Samantha wants to know, is there a USB key? The answer is yes. It's our brand new launch today. It's not available anywhere. We've just launched it today and it's CC0115. It's our Gardening Gnomes USB key. 
$17.99. Dave will put it up on the screen. Now the beauty about it, it is our biggest GNOME USB key to date. There's over 2,000 printable elements to have a go with. There's, and that's at one size. Right, so I have used, this is actually the back of a paper pad and it doesn't really matter what you use. You need a piece of card that is stable enough that it won't bend when you lift it up because otherwise all your pieces will keep falling off. And what I did was I decided on the template size that I wanted to create. Now this can be a rectangle, it could be a circle, it could be a heart. And that's the basic shape that you want your montage to be. So as you drew up Bella, I was going to say, Dave's just taken the side off. You just need to bring that over more there. That's there it. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, the other thing you need to be aware of is you need an overlap. So when you put your frame on, you want to be able to not see the edges going around. So you want everything to sort of fill out underneath and the frame to cover any edges that you have. Can you show the car, the actual finish so they understand what yes. you are doing to start off with? Okay. So this is what Bella, the technique that Bella did to create this. So she's shown with you how easy it is to create this montage by having that basis. Yeah, so what I did was I created the original image and I drew a template that was a little bit wider than what you're seeing there. And then I made it so that it would go right underneath and the frame, the piece of card, this white card here, would go overlap the edge because you don't want any rough edges to show. No. Okay. Now Bella's going to show you, because we're running out of time, it's five past eight, so Bella is going okay. to show you how she did the next bit, but we're not going to stick it all down and we'll do no. a video on how this is done. So as you can see, she's actually created a frame and then she's going to show you the layers to go with that. Now with regard, just very quickly, um, we will be actually posting a Facebook post about when we're going to be doing the colour wheel video uh, and everybody's wanting to know where to get a colour wheel. Yes, uh, somebody's Jenny says you can Google them, but we will actually be putting it on our blog as well in the coming weeks. Yeah, so very quickly, I created a frame. I did that by finding the center point corner to corner and then cutting out the size of the template that I want to work on. And this matches the template here so that you've got, this is the area we're working on and then this is the frame that is going to cover over the overlay edge. So then I've got these sheets from the pack and I started off with this one on the bottom and then I cut out the, um, the fence there. I'm losing my words this evening. That's okay. It's, okay. It's, I, it's from me. I use them all the time. <laughs> so I've cut this piece out and my, my tip when you're cutting out, if you want to do cutting out of these pieces here, is to cut them out first before you cut your fiddly edge because once you've cut your fiddly edge, the paper becomes less stable. And so you want to be doing these cutouts, which I did with a scalpel and a cutting mat. You do that first, and then you cut out your edge. However, I will say if anybody has a scanning cut, we give you permission to use our designs with a scanning cut, and you can ask it to cut out whatever you need because of you got the artwork from there. But with regard to montage, this is how you can do any design. It doesn't have to be this one. Yes, absolutely. And you can do photographs, friends, family, all sorts of things with montage and you can add elements in. So I actually use this. I stick the base down on here once I've got everything decided. Then you layer your pieces up. You don't start sticking until you're totally happy with everything. So I'm going to tuck my gnomes in here. And as you can see, you just build things up. Now, I know we're running short of time, but there was one other tip that I wanted to show you, which is when you're doing this, you quite often, it's very easy to see the white edge and you won't be able to see it on camera. But when you're looking at the finished piece, you, will, you might see little flashes of white, which is the edge of your flowers. And what I do, and this might be too much for some people, it depends on your boredom level and it depends on how finicky you want to be but you can color the edge and you just use a color that matches the color that you're wanting. You keep the piece of paper that is the back uh, so that you don't actually mark. If you're marking something, you mark the back rather than the front and you just do the edges. 
it's not for everybody, but if you do it, it just takes the eye away from the white edges of your cutout. So the other top tip is if you don't have a matching uh, pen, you can actually use Tim Holtz Distress Inks. So yes, you can use inks and you can use a grey because that does everything. The other last top tip I would give you is when you're finally happy with what you've got before you've stuck everything down, take a quick photograph on your phone and then take everything off and then use the picture on your phone yeah. so that you can remember exactly where things go. Because if you're like me, I just forget. I just can't remember where things were when I was happy with them. So April's put, dumb question, what is a montage? A montage, April, is what Bella's going to yes. show you the finish. Basically, a montage is what people think is a collage. But collage, you use scrap pieces. A montage, you use new designs well you use elements that are already existing as an image so you use a leaf or you use a flower and you put them together to create another picture um, so they're actually things in their own right whereas a montage could be just a scrap or a button or, yes. or a cut out shape it can, so, it's just a terminology yeah. April basically it's, it's a picture yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say a picture April yes. so Helen said have you got any dyes for with it hun? Helen the answer is yes the dyes that we have is our gardening gnomes dyes and if you miss the code okay it is let me just put the gardening gnome die set that we have it's CC 0118 so we are going to I'm going to show you one more item and I did mention it at the big top of the show and then we're going to be finishing off because look at the time everybody and we need to be going so the one one item that I want to show you is this one here and this is our fairy boot house CC0127 and Debbie Wycliffe you watching this is why I said you might not be able to decide between the two because look how adorable this and look at the price 4.49 okay so it is this gorgeous die set and this is what we're finishing off by Sue Dix this is a brilliant uh, design really good size and as you can see all this embossment and effects on there I'm going to give that to Bella so she can just check that I'm not missing any messages because it's been a very fast show and I'm really sorry if you just joined the show you can watch us again on catch up for anything that we've missed but I just want to recap on a couple of things before we finish on the show and then we're going to pick a like and share so this last item for tonight is CC0127 can I ask a quick question? April Brown Butts says, um, can I digitise to embroider a design or only use with scan and cut? No, you can use it with the embroidery design, not an issue, as long as you are making the embroidery design and not selling the pattern right. to okay. actually do Thank that. You. So yes, of course you can. Right, everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay. And uh, it has been a fast paced show for tonight. And um, I don't know where the time goes. But we need to finish off very quickly because Dave and I are going to Darlington tonight. We've got a four and a half hour journey. Uh, I know, it's, it's a long way. way, long way. It's a long and way. any messages, we will catch up on that. Uh, for those people that are newbies, welcome to my crazy crafting world. I will be back here on Thursday. However, I am on Crate and Craft on Tuesday. Yes, yes. I am on the Crate and Craft on Tuesday at three o'clock and 7 p.m. And I have got Art Deco. So I have got the Art Deco collection on Create and Craft. So hopefully you can join me over there and we've got some tips on there. But then I'm back here on Thursday yeah. and I don't know what it is. Oh, I think it's Cards for Men. It is Cards yes. for Men. So we've got the ideas of the men in your life out there and we've got loads, haven't we? Loads yes. and loads of techniques from vintage techniques to well factor techniques. So hopefully you can join me and hopefully Bella's next yes. week yep. at uh, 6.30. Um, but before we finish, remember if you're brand new, and you have ordered something, remember, after the show, private message me your email address and your post address. Um, what will then happen is the show will be processed. It'll be left open until, where are we? Sunday, get the right day. A Sunday and then at midnight, and then we'll send you an invoice on Monday. And it, you can pay by debit card, credit card, PayPal. What else can you pay by? Backs. Or you can ring. I think that's everything. But if anybody has any questions or queries, always missing an invoice please just send us a message and the team will be on it tomorrow and sort it out for you tomorrow and Monday. The one thing I will say to you everybody is remember that personal impressions is part of EM Richwood group. So if you get an invoice from them, don't think I don't know who these people are. It's me. 
Debbie Moore Designs has amalgamated into personal impressions, which is part of a bigger group, which is EM Richard Group. So I know it's confusing, but when you get used to it, you'll be fine. Uh, but if anybody has any questions or queries, please just message us and we'll get it sorted out. So Bella, you need to pick a winner. Yes, a lot of people saying a lovely show. Oh, Great thank show. you, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, characters that we've had. I, I think I can't decide whether I like the kitten or the puppy best. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I don't. I love both. Yeah, I me love too. Both. I think I do. I think I think Dave's more of a cat person. I'm more of a, of a dog person. Yeah. But we're going to get a dog and maybe a cat one day. <laughs> but we have a life. I have picked Molly Davis. Congratulations, Molly! You have won the Gill of the Lichen Chair. Uh, I'm going to pick somebody else. Well, let's pick. There we go. Joy Taylor. Congratulations, you've also won a giveaway. So if you won a giveaway, okay, please private message your postal address and Zori will be on it and get it sorted out and it'll go out to you next week. And then don't all go away because you're all winners. You know what I'm like. And this only happens on a Thursday. And I will reiterate, it is only on a Thursday because we'll be doing more shows during the week. But on a Thursday, we like to give an extra present to everybody. And that little present is from me to you, well, from us, to you to say thank you for your support because without you we wouldn't be here now there is a catch okay you will have to make something so remember to write that down Dave just put it on the screen so it's a secret code it's a treasure hunt so those be thinking what uh, is a treasure hunt sorry I got distracted because Jenny says could you order 127 the answer is yes you can rewatch the show back and add more elements to, uh, or should say more things to your order anything um, until the show is closed on Sunday night so going back to the treasure hunt this is something that I started in lockdown you can check that there's no messages while I okay. go through everything um, it started in lockdown and the idea is for you to have some fun keep you busy over the weekend and to give back to you wonderful crafters out there so it's a little gift, it's a card kit download, and you'll find out. Now, I will stress, stress to everybody, it doesn't go live until about 1.30. Obviously, because I was out of the office last week, um, it was a bit delayed, but thank you for your patience. Now, the idea is, there's the code, FB Facebook, and GG for uh, Gnomes, and then May 22. Remember to write that down. That is your discount code. So the card kit will be live from 1.30 tomorrow. It will be on Debbie Moore Designs website. Look what it says there. You need to go to DebbieMooreDesigns.com. Because you're part of my crafting family, you need to remember to go into printable downloads and find members. You're all part of my team. Well, I would say my family and you automatically become a member. There's a lot of people saying wonderful show and wishing you a safe journey. Thank you, up. everybody. And well, <laughs> it's going to be even crazier next week. We have loads of things in, uh, to share with you. And also... <gasps> Exciting. Cadence is now available, everybody. Yes. So we'll be putting posts about that. All the Cadence products now available. And there's amazing rice papers, isn't beautiful, there? Beautiful. Amazing beautiful. paint. Amazing stencil. There's so much yes. going on with that. Yes. Uh, and I mean, the time's running out. So tonight I can't share any more because of running out. Uh, I think I've done everything else. Don't forget, sorry, going back to the secret code is, if you, especially if you're new, you, you will notice on Facebook at 1.30, it will have a picture of the code, sorry, of a picture of the kit. But the idea is you remember today's date, which is the 19th of July, because I'm not going to tell you what the kit will be. It's a treasure hunt. You have to hunt it out. But it will only be in one section, which is on Debbie Moore Designs, printable downloads, members. You find it, you put it in your basket, because it will have today's date on. You put your discount code in, it'll go free, and you'll be able to download it and make loads of cards and projects. And the catch is, please do something for charity or make a card and send it to your neighbour or a relative. And it's just uh, a way of sharing the joy, really, of crafting. Yes, and a lot of people really enjoy it. They're mentioning it on the comments. Brilliant. Okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye from Bella and myself and Dave, who's over there. Uh, and hopefully you can join me on Creating Craft on Tuesday and back here on fantastic. Thursday. I know, it's going to be a crazy, another crazy week, but you know what I'm like, everybody. <laughs> thank you for your time and thank you for joining me. I hope you picked up a little bit of inspiration and ideas. Yeah. Take care, stay safe, God bless. Mm. Lots of love from Bella and me. Bye-bye for now. Bye.